All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash, the bonds of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth true well. I'm going to go into, you know, recently we experienced an outage here um, in Salaki. I don't know what's going on here. Luck. Let me see. It's lucky, yeah, bear with me. I don't know why the story was frozen. Um, let me see. One that is start <clears throat> from here from the top and and we know you know this is a uh, you know just something you know that happens you know that the heavenly father allows to happen you know winter time summertime hot days you know it, but it doesn't mean you know it's the end of the world you know but but they are clear signs you know with with certain things how people are not ready for for a catastrophe people are not ready for you know real a real tr time of trouble to happen man you know and these small things you know just prove how through you know america really is but it says um let me see here it says for the first time the entire state of texas was placed under a winter storm warning sunday these warnings for from hazardous amounts of ice and snow expanded monday to cover all of Arkansas and most of Louisiana, Mississippi, and western northern Alabama, while extending northeast through much of Tennessee and Ohio Valley and interior northeast. In the next 36 hours, more snow, sleet, and ice is likely to fall from Oklahoma to New Hampshire, uh, with a foot and a half of snow possible in Little Rock, Arkansas, I believe it is, you know, but... You know, with this small outage that just happened, okay, you were left without power. Okay, here in, in Austin, you had, you know, you had no power and <clears throat> no visibility. All right, there was no people don't sell, you know, snow chains. Um, you know, so cars were getting into wrecks. People weren't leaving the houses. You know, cars were sliding all over the place, you know. So, you know, all the ele electrical devices, even with, um, you know, Wi-Fi and things of that nature, even with, with all these technological technological advances, you still had people that were losing uh, signal. You know, people couldn't communicate. You had people that didn't have Wi-Fi, you know. So, you know, just with, with a short period of time, the most high proved Okay, that you people are not ready for 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 what the Heavenly Father is about to bring, you know, because what the Heavenly Father is about to bring is a lot more serious and detrimental. Okay, especially if you're not in this truth, man. If you're not in this truth and you're not cloaked by Yahweh Hashem Shai, if you're not in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, all this stuff that's that's getting ready to happen. Okay, you're not going to be ready for it, man. You know, and like I said, the Heavenly Father proved it simply with, you know something like snow and ice okay some of the oldest things in, in in the world man you know when you had the um the pilgrims okay that were settling here in the united states and by pilgrims i mean you know these these devils these thieves that were settling in the united states and they came, came across winter what did they do a lot of them died you know because they had no electricity they had no actual fires they had no protection against this type of stuff man you know you had power that went out in, in multiple places here in in texas man you know and people were left without power for about four to five hours and in those four to five hours you had people complaining and and worrying about their lives man and that was just four to five hours you know imagine weeks imagine months you know i heard a 
a place here in, in Texas, um, I believe it was Round Rock, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, they've been basically, you know, out of power for almost a week. You know? So, or two days, I should say, Salakia. They've been out of power for two days. You know? So, just stuff like that, man. You know, simple things like this. The, the temperature dropping, okay? Simple things like this, the world is not prepared for. You know? How much more when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai comes back with a fleet of chariots, okay, to destroy, man? How much more when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai allows this devil to come down with great wrath? You know? When he presents the RFID chip, if you can't buy, you can't sell. Right now at this time, you can buy and you can sell, okay? And people were still freaking out, man. Imagine when you can't buy and you can't sell, okay? When you can't f protect your family with money, you know? How is it going to be at that time, man? You know, we have to take account for all these things that we go through, things that we see, and filter it through the scriptures and, and, and really have our faith based on, you know, the scriptures, man. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the spirit, you know? So this is Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now... And see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces turn into paleness. Okay, because when the Most High really comes back, you know, through visiting the earth, okay, bringing calamities to happen and, and you know, a time of trouble, that hour of temptation, which is when the, the MOB is presented, okay, during those times, what do you think is going to happen to these men? Okay, these, these strong men of the earth, you know, that believe themselves to be something. You know, you have the book of uh, Luke chapter 16, where it goes into the rich man and Lazarus and that great gulf that was fixed between them. That great gulf represents the elect being the elect and, and, and Israelites being Israel. Nobody else can match up to that, man. You know, but also the Israelites that wake up to this truth and, and they continue okay there's going to be a cloak for them you know it says the name of the most high is a tower a strong tower at that you know so having the names is important having this wisdom knowledge understanding according to isaiah 33 you see so all of this stuff just just comes in together you know and if you're not in yahweh bashim yahweh shai then you're going to be one of those pe uh, people that that faces gather paleness or turn into paleness you know, like you saw a ghost. It's going to be terrible, man. It's in the book of Amos as well. You know, Lord willing, I'll get to it. But it says, verse 7, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Now, when you go to Second Timothy 2 and 19, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having his seal, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Mashiach depart from his, from iniquity. Okay, so we are those, those houses, man. You know, we are those houses that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to take care of. So in this time of trouble, okay, we're, we're in a small, in a small demonstration, man, with the power being out people freaking out, you know, looking at all these things and, you know, seeing the, the, the snow and, and the roads are bad and people get scared, you know, in thunderstorms, okay, during hot, uh, the, the heat, you know, hot summers. During those times, people will look at, you know, the, the, the stuff that's going on, they'll freak out, okay? It's super hot in, in, in some, in some, inside somebody's house during the summertime. What did they do? They start freaking out, man. You know, start buying a bunch of fans and buying a bunch of waters and, you know, people go crazy, man. Okay. And it's not even the time of trouble yet, you know. So if that happens during those these time periods that the Most High has demonstrated how unprepared and how you cannot be saved by anybody else but under the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, then how, how much more, okay, whenever the time of trouble actually comes, you see? It says, uh, verse 20, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to dishonor, you know? So when you go to 
uh, Daniel's, the 12th chapter, it says, verse 1, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Okay? So that's where our faith is, in this little book, man, the scriptures. You know? It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting content. Okay? And when you go into that word content, really this is talking about the heathen, you know? Because the heathen are going to be, uh, it says, avarision and abhorrence. Avarision means a dislike of, a strong dislike, you know? Especially these Edomites, man. They're not going to like the kingdom of heaven. It's not going to be heaven for them. This is their heaven, their current heaven, you know? This is this is uh, uh, something that, that they like. Because the kingdom of heaven is going to be righteous, contrary to the doing of Esau, Edom, you know. So those that are going to wake up, uh, you know, those that are going to be for for uh, shame and everlasting content are really talking about the heathen. You know, the heathen are going to be in that in that content, contempt, Salakia. You know, it says, and they that be wise shall shine as a brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteous as the stars forever and ever, you know. So those are the ones that are teaching this truth, you know, going into scripture, trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So in Jeremiah, going on to verse 7, you know, like, it's, like it says there, or, or like I brought out, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know, so the ones that stay faithful to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh are going to be saved out of it. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time. So when you go into that word, Aith, okay, that time of Aith is a time of an event, okay? It's not talking about, you know, just, just one hour, okay, where, where you know, we're just going to be la-di-da, like, you know, uh, Bishop Nathaniel says, you know. Or Nate from IUIC he says, we're going to be la-di-da and then we're going to be saved, man. You know, and I tried to bring this out the other day when I went to the highways and byways, you know, but it was it was too cold, man. You know, so I was only out there for about 30 minutes <clears throat> or 37, something like that, you know, but that time goes into an event that happens, you know, an experience, something we're going to experience, man. OK, it's an occasion, something that's going to happen. You know, it says down here, it says a certain continually a, a evening, a long or a due season, you know, and that due season that's coming is a time of trouble. You know, the hour of temptation. That's what's coming to earth, man. And in those times you can't buy and you can't sell. OK, this is Revelations 13 and verse five. That's uh, so like it. 13 and verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay, and you have cats out there that are saying the buying and the selling is talking about the tariffs. It's not talking about tariffs, man. You know, that goes into the system of the of the beast. Okay, the tariffs and, and democracy and, you know, the, the philosophy and, you know, the images and, you know, all those things go into... Um, and by images, I mean the, um, you know, the religious aspect of of Christianity and, and, you know, philosophies. It all goes into the image of the beast because it's trying to make it as a as a one united, you know, nation. OK, so it goes into the image, but the but the image is different from the mark because the word mark, you know, like I've been like I've gone through it. When you go into that word mark, which is charagma in the Greek which means an incision, okay? When you go into the participle or the speech, it's a noun, okay? And a noun is a person, place, or thing, but then you see the case of the noun and it's an accusative noun, which means it's a direct object, okay? Lord willing, it, you know, it lets me actually click on it. Okay, so it says definition of a noun. An accusative is the accusation, accusative case refers to the case used for a noun or a pronoun 
that is a direct object. Okay, so there's no way around it, man. It's a direct object, object, meaning a noun, meaning, i.e., the building, the book, okay, the, the chip. You know, those are direct objects or direct nouns, you know. So going into that word 5480, Strong's G5480, which means a stamp, an imprinted mark. And a stamp and an imprint is to press down with great force. You know, when you look up the definitions, it says a trample, to stomp, to bring down one's foot. Okay, to bring down, you can bring it down with one's foot. It says heavily on the ground or on something on the ground. Impress a pattern or a mark, especially an official one, you know. And that official one is going to be the RFID that's going to be stamped with, you know, the... the um, uh, what is it called? Like the king's seal, you know, that's basically what it's going to have. And once you put that chip in you, that implant, okay, you're basically going to belong unto the super elite, you know? So when you go to the root word of haragma, it's harax, okay? And harax is a pale or a stake, a palisade, okay? And that stake, that's, that's, that's there is talking about, you know, a piercing machine. You know, that's why it says here, pales between which earth, stones, trees, and timbers are heaped and packed together. You see, so those that that stick that they're gonna use is is basically like the jab, you know. So this is the thing that's gonna be presented, okay, and it's gonna cause everybody to be um what is that word? Um tempted. Okay, because without it, you can't buy and you can't sell, you know, and these, you know, say that 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 this power outage would have been out for for a month, you know, and somebody came up to you and said, hey, look, you know, if you you give me your your daughter or you give me your, you know, your TV or if you give me your, you know, your socks, okay, I'll fix your your electricity. What are you going to do? You're going to pay them with that, right? Why? Because you want that. You need that electric, uh, electricity, you know? So in that time of trouble that's coming, okay, in that time of trouble, that's what Esau Edom is going to present, okay? You take this 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 RFID, this MOB, okay? You take it and I'll grant you, you know, a certain amount of money and you'll be able to buy and you'll be able to sell because all the, the monetary system is going to be crashing, you know, and that's basically what they're going to release for for a uh, a new monetary system. OK, and if you don't take it, you can't buy and you can't sell. So there's going to be a time of trouble where Jake's aren't going to take it, man. You know, but as you progress throughout that time period, OK, that that season, that hour, you know, you're going to have Jake's that are going to say, you know what? I can't take it anymore. I got to feed my family. I got to feed my babes, you know feed the little ones, and they're going to end up taking it, you know? But if you don't trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you're definitely taking it, you see? So that time of trouble that's coming is not talking about salvation or trouble for the heathen. It's talking about Jacob's trouble, man, you know? It's a time of trouble for Jacob, okay? So going back to Jeremiah 30, And you go to the word Jacob and then trouble. Jacob is the Iquab, which are, uh, which is, you know, going back to the patriarch that was named Israel. And out of Jacob came the 12 tribes of Israel, you know. So this is talking about the seed line of Jacob. Okay. And when you go into that word trouble or trouble is Tazara or Tazara which means straits, okay? Whenever we were under the Egyptians, we were in double straits, okay? So that means, you know, like a bondage. It says channel a bad and difficult situation, you know? That's a straight, and we're going to go through that straight gate, you know? You can't get to that gate unless you go through the straits. You see, vexer, rival wife, distress and trouble, you know? Adver adversary, ad adversity, affliction, anguish, distress, tribulation, you know, 
Because we're going to go through tribulation, man, which means trouble. Literally. You know? So, we went through, you know, a, a small type of, of trouble, you know, here in Texas with the power outage and, you know, things of that nature, which is, you know, natural. Okay? But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is showing us how unprepared people are going to be, one, when he brings the time of trouble, okay? And two, when he comes back, you know? Even with all this technological advancement, we still had people that were crying and screaming and, you know, freaking out about this situation, man. You know? And who did they run to? Did they run to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Did they pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? No. All right, they trusted in Esau, Edom, and him bringing back the, the electricity, you know? So, in Revelations, I'm going, finishing up Jeremiah 30 and 8. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and I will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve Yahweh their power, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. You know, and that's why it says in verse 10, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith Yahweh, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. You know, that reminds me of, was it Isaiah... 40 might have been 47 let me see no let me see here this is uh, Isaiah 45 and verse 16 they shall be ashamed and also confounded all of them they shall go into confusion together that are makers of idols but, yeah, but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. For thus saith Yahweh that created the heavens, the Most High himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it and he created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahweh and there is none else. Okay, so the earth is going to remain after the destruction of Babylon. Okay. Because the earth was made to be inhabited, okay, and to be ruled over by the Israelites. Verse 20, assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. Now, what does that mean? That means we're escaped, not physically, okay, not a physical escaped, okay, but it's talking about spiritually we're escaping, you know, uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah Salakia, uh, Revelations 18 and 4, you know. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. So it says, they have no knowledge that set up the wood of the graven image, okay? And pray unto the God that cannot save, you know? So when you go into, they have no knowledge that set up the wood. It says, tree, wood, timber, stock, plank. A stock or a stick, gallows, trees, wood, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, but it's basically like uh, it can be seen as a palisade, okay, or a stick, like we've seen, of their graven image, okay. And when you go into that, it's an idol, okay. So this carved, look at that, that word carved from an idol, carved, an image, okay. And what is that carved thing? That's the RFID chip. You know, so it says to set up the wood of the graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. OK, and who is that God that cannot save Esau, Edom? OK, and in all his things that he comes with, you know, so we assemble ourselves and draw ourselves close to Yahweh out of all the nations. OK, we escaped out of that mindset that we're from those nations and we have to fight for those nations, man, you know. We're being freed from that, and now we're coming to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, you know? And we're trying to uh, get away from this graven image that's coming up, which is going to be the time of trouble. It says, and pray unto a God that cannot save, 
verse 21, Isaiah 45 and 21, Tell ye and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together, who hath declared this from ancient time, who hath told it from a time. Have not I, Yahweh, and there is no God else besides me, and a just power and a savior, there is none beside me. That means the most high is it. Okay? He commands everything. There's no other God that opposes him. There's no other power that comes against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the Most High decrees what happens. You see? Verse 22, Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am the, I am the Most High, the Most High power, and there is none else. So when you go into the word, uh, look, pana, which is to turn towards or from or away. Okay, so we're turning away from the ways of the world and we're turning towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, down here it says, uh, he feel, which means to turn, to make a turn, show signs of turning to turn back. Okay, uh, what was that? The book of, let me see. Um, I believe it was Salaki. I don't know why I forgot this. Uh, first Ezra is chapter one, verse 51. And it goes, actually, I think I started at 50. Uh, nevertheless, the God of their fathers sent by his messengers to call them back because he spread them. He spared them and his tabernacles also. But they had his messengers in derision and look when the Lord spake unto them, they made for they made sport of his prophets. You see, so the most high sent messengers to turn them back, to call them back. Right. So when you go into that word, Pana, it means down here at C, he feel it means show signs of turning to turn back, you know. So we're turning back now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai speaking through his men. Okay, to increase us in wisdom and knowledge, understanding, you know, and guidance. You see, it tells you in Proverbs chapter one, verse five, I believe, a wise man will attain unto wise counsels, you know, and a man of understanding shall increase uh, knowledge, you know, roughly paraphrasing. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has sent those men for a reason. Okay, so if we're turning you to turn back now, because now is the time, because that time that's coming after this mercy it's going to be a time of trouble, man. And that's when it's going to be too late for you to uh, look up to the Most High right when you see him coming. You know, it's not going to happen. So Isaiah 45, verse 22, it says, look unto me. And that word look means to turn back. Okay, turn back unto the Most High and be ye saved. Okay, and that word is Yeshai, which is where you get the word Yahawashai. You get the word Yeshai, uh, or you get the word Yahawashai. One of the root words is Yeshai, which means to save, a savior. Okay, Yahweh means he is. Yeshai means to save. Okay, he is a savior. Unto who? To the children of Israel. You know, Matthews 1 and 21. It says, uh, turn unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. For I am the power and there is none else. Okay. Uh, verse 23, I have sworn by myself. The word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. You see, so the word of the Most High is not going to turn back void. You know, his counsel shall stand, as scripture says. You know, so verse 24 says, Surely shall one say, uh, In Yahweh have, right, have I righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all the incensed against him shall be ashamed. You see, it says in Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. So those that turn to the most high, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting uh, tem uh, con contemption um, or content. Contempt, you know, is talking about these heathen. They're not going to there isn't going to be a salvation for them so they can stock up all they want to stock up or get prepared as much as they want to get prepared. Okay, when the time of trouble comes, if the Most High decrees it, that they're going to die, that's it. You know, so our worry is about staying faithful to Yahweh Shimia Shai. You know, 441. 
But uh, Psalms 91, and I'll end it here. It's a lock. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That means you're going to be protected by Yahweh Shem Yahushai. You know, I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress. The Most High in him will I trust. Okay, so when you look at the word fortress is matazar or matazad, which means a net. Okay, a stronghold. You know, and the scriptures talk about the name of the Most High being a stronghold. So when you see a stronghold, I mean, if you break down the word strong, which means strength and hold means um, to be placed, you know, a hold, something that you can uh, 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 grab, you know. So a stronghold is, is a place that that holds you. All right. A strong place that holds you, a fortress, a bastion. You know, so this is a place that has been fortified so as to protect it against an attack. You know, so this this attack that's coming is a time of trouble, you know, and the only way that we can be prepared for this is by turning to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine, like it says in the book of uh, Joel, chapter two, turn ye even unto me with all with all readiness of mind, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Let me just get it, you know. I believe it was verse 7. Uh, let me go down. Uh, verse 12, Joel 2 and 12. Therefore also saith now, saith Yahweh, turn ye even to me with all your heart, with fasting and with weeping and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto Yahweh, your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind, even a meat offering and a drink of offering unto Yahweh your power? You know, so that's what we have to do. Turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, which all goes into the baptism and, and repentance. You know, when you feel sorrow and, and you know you went off. Okay, that that's turning unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that's the only way that we can prepare for these pearliest times that are coming. You know, so I hope that was edifying. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. The honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.